Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming through today to do a hair show and tell. I really wanted to just stop in and show you the type of hair that I use for my crochet braids. Here recently I've been doing a lot of protective styles, things that are easy to manage and quick to get done. Normally I do my long box braids or something like that, but like I said, I've been keeping it real simple and fast with crochet braids. The last style I did was with the Morley hair that was rotted on perm rods and dipped in hot water. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen that style. This one is actually using the Rastafari Dana braid. And this is what the packaging looks like. And it says Dana braid. I have the color 1B. The hair itself actually looks like this. Some brands call it soft dread hair. It looks like this. There's a brand by Biba, which calls it soft dread. And it's just these long rows. I cut mine in half. Once I cut it in half, I take my time and I separate the hair like this. And you get these type of curls, these spiral curls. Normally, one piece of hair can be separated four times. I use three packs to achieve this fullness. You can use as many packs as you like to get the desired fullness that you want, but it is going to take more. It's going to take at least two packs to get it done. The fuller you want it, the more hair you can use. So, this hair is made with Tiankaline fiber. It is not extremely soft, but it's soft enough. It's not too hard. It holds the curls really, really well. I'm not having any curls fall down. There's no hot water and riding or anything like that necessary with this hair. Um, like I have a straight braid back pattern. I don't have any leave out, no swirly braids. It's just straight to the back, basic crocheting. I have it where I can put a part on the side, gel my hair and side part it. I can middle part it or I can wear it tossed over like this. No additional cutting or layering was done to this. I just snipped a few pieces around my face. So this is a real inexpensive, easy, protective style. Crochet braids are excellent for those who are really trying to grow their edges back and not have any individual braids placed on their edges to pull them no tension it you don't really have to braid extremely hard to get these styles to say you can double tie them and they'll hold in place so you don't have to do that real hard tight braids you don't have to you know if your hair is long enough you don't there's no need to really add any additional extension hair to it for the braids you can leave your edges out if you are trying to grow your edges back or stop them from breaking and don't want to do anything to them you can leave the perimeter of your hair out the way this hair is going to fall it's going to cover those edges up unless you're trying to pull this up you'll be fine doing that so my edges are left out around here because I don't want any tension on them because I've already, I've already cut them down. I've shaved the size of my hair off again. So there's nothing there to braid anyway. But normally when I braid other people's hair, if they prefer their edges left out, I leave it out so they don't get any damage. This hair is also very comfortable to wear. It's not itchy. This Tiankalon fiber is not itchy. The previous ones I did with the Marley braids, I used Janet hair. I prefer that one because it's softer. That fiber also is not really itchy and irritating to my scalp. But Marley hair has a had way of attracting smell. Now before I remove those, I washed that hair just to see how well it washed. And the Marley hair washed fine. This hair made with the Tiankalon fibers is not grabbing hold to every smell that's around you. So I'm not having a problem with that. Moisturizing it. You can put a little mousse on it just to help with the frizz if you're getting any frizz problems. But other than that, I would just spray some basic olive oil, I mean basic coconut oil mixed with water on this hair just to prevent it from drying out as much. And I actually sometimes I spray the um, moisturizing facial spray that I can get on clearance at Ulta all the time. And this has the aloe vera in it and it has a nice scent to it. I'll spray this on this hair. So again, crochet braids are inexpensive. This hair was $6.99. I used three packs. Marley hair, I can do it with two packs for $5.99. I can do it with Kankalon hair, which is $1.99 a pack, and just dip and straighten it. So I will be coming back with different protective styles that I do to my hair. No tutorials 
because this is, crochet braids is something that's been around for a long time. It's really simple. Just braid your hair to the back and use a latch hook and slip the look, hook under there and pull it through. There's tons and tons of tutorials on how to actually do the crochet braids. There's not a lot of videos out here that's actually showing you different types of hair you can use. Most people are using the free tress water wave or the molly hair or the cankaline hair. There are tons and tons of crochet braids available from bohemian wave to loose waves. Now doing it with the loose waves, if you prefer that type of style, that is going to require a different braid pattern. As it gets cooler, I will do the longer loose wave styles. But for now, I just want something simple and up off of my neck as much as possible. So, once again, this is the Rastafari Dana braids made with Tiankaline, Tiankaline fibers, $6.99. I have the color 1B. It comes in assortments of colors. You can leave it long and do it. You can um, use this hair for individual braids. It holds the curls well. I've used it in other people's hair and it lasted four weeks, no problems. Not a lot of tangling either. This tangling fiber, with it being so full, I don't experience a lot of tangling or frizzing from it. So it is really, really manageable. So. Thanks for watching this video. It's not my normal hair makeup video. This one is a hair video. And like I said, I'll try to keep coming back with different options for natural looking protective styles. I've done a lot of natural looking styles from braids to, you know, twist ups that cost a dollar ninety nine or something like that. A lot of inexpensive natural um, looking styles. I haven't done much straight long weave or anything like that I don't I prefer not to wear wigs I just I'm not a big wig wearer so I have to come up with inexpensive options that I can you know don't have a full commitment to if I'm tired of it I can take it down in two weeks because I didn't spend a ton of money I also try to come up with a lot of do-it-yourself type of styles some that you know just take sit down watch a couple of videos be patient and do it yourself you don't have to spend a lot of money to get beautiful looking hair you don't have to go to shops to accomplish some of these basic simple styles some of this hair is so easy to install it's just a matter of knowing what hair what brand to choose so my hair videos will not be tutorials it'll just simply be focusing in on different brands and options that are out there so thank you guys for watching this video. As always, I love and appreciate your continued support. Uh, face of the day, I have on the Laura Mercier uh, smooth, Flawless Smooth Liquid Fluid. I believe that's the full total name for it. I have that on along with the NYX Brow Gel that I use to fill in my eyebrows. I do not go heavy with that because that can look very cakey. So I try to do it as soft as possible. I have no eyebrows at all. Wasn't born with none. So I try to keep it as soft as possible. My eyes is um, a mix of the Amorazzi and the Naked 3 palette. And my lips is this dollar lipstick from the beauty supply store by Italia. It's called Lovely Girl. And it's this pretty purple, pretty matte purple. And I have that on with the Nika K. What is this? Indigo? I don't use this so much, the name came off of it. I believe it's Indigo, which is the dark purple liner. So thank you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.